What's going on, y'all? Your boy Juggle Night Seven Two back here. I and... know. Yeah, here I misunderstood. Hi. And welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. With Cold Stone flavored coffee. Oh uh, yeah, and right now where we headed, we are headed to the opera. Ah, the opera. Me 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 do re mi fa sol la ti do. And where are we going? We're going to the opera, like you said. Yes, we are. Opera house. The opera house is closed. Well, shit. I thought we were going to the opera. Okay, we need to go back. We're not. We got to go back to Jador real quick. Let's see. We were supposed to go to the uh, auction house. It's been a little bit. I don't know you know just. I recorded 12 episodes within about a week, mm -hmm. so everything that you've seen was actually recorded in a week, in a week's time though. So I want to I want to say it's about three. I think I did it like three, four days or something like that. Yes. I was just house. Maria. Are you talking to me? Apparently. Sorry, my mistake. Wow, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh boy, now I'm really in trouble. Uh, Celis looks just like Maria. What? Oh, what's this? Hey! That person dropped it off. He's the director of the operas, of the operas here. Everyone just calls him Empresario. He's been tizzy ever since that letter's arrived. Why was he all tizzy? My dear Maria, I want you for my wife. I'm coming for you. The Wandering Gambler. Oh! Who's this Wandering Gambler? What's his name? You born on a farm, son? No, but apparently there's an airship. Blackjack plane, world traveling, casino dwelling, free spirit. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Setzer. Hello! How's it going? Very integral. One of my favorite characters from Final Fantasy VI. Because he, 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 can, he, can, he can fuck you up with cards. Yeah. And with darts, too. Mm -hmm. If we can get that airship, we'd make it to the Empire in no time. So I would like to see a death battle between the Empire and the Would be awesome. Let's, meet up, let's set up a meeting with this Setzer. Hmm. You're the spitting image of Maria, huh? I haven't heard of her. She's a famous opera singer. Okay, if we'll give us one second, we're gonna see where we need to go. I'm pretty sure it's the Opera House, though, because I'm pretty sure that's what triggered where we need to go. Okay. Actually, hold on a second. Before we do that, we need to get a Chocobo. Yes. No more battles, please. Yes. I have a hard time as it is, and I'm just cutting battles out left and right for y'all. Alrighty, here we go. To the opera house we go. Ah, oh, you again. I read that letter. Setzer's coming to steal her. He'll probably appear right at the climax of scene one. He loves an entrance. Right. If we could only grab him then. Dear me, no, you'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. Uh-huh. Then your history. This is simply horrid. I want the performance to be a success. Do you now? But I don't want Maria to be abducted. Thanks. Well, let him grab her. Her? Uh-huh. Big-ass question. I know, right? We'll use Celis as a decoy. After she's abducted, we'll fall right to the airship. <clears throat> Are you mad? If something should happen to Maria... Like, apparently this guy's... That's why the decoy <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Come again. Come again? You said she looks like Maria, right? Now 
just a minute. Just a minute. Salas will be our Maria. She'll lead us to the airship. Brilliant! Ah! Way to put the pressure, asshole. I know, right? Jeez, if only I could I'm only- a general, not some opera floozy. Never said you were a floozy. Uh, way to bump into the freaking Right into the- Yeah, way to bump into there, the- there's a, there's a doorknob there. Me, me. <laughs> Not bad, Celis. Not bad at all. I took what? What? Oh, uh, what the fuck is? I'll pretend to be censored and fire the little plan. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't tease the octopus, kids. What? Talk. God, read it. Go <laughs> on, oh, read it. Hey, don't tease the octopus, kids. Oh, wow. Okay. Probably one of the most epic scenes in video game history right here. Not to mention in Final Fantasy. Even for the Super Nintendo, this was very, very big. Yes. It was very, very big. You know, it actually kind of brings back some, you know, we were talking about this a couple of episodes ago uh, when we first, uh, when we were recording this. Yes. We uh, actually went to Distant Worlds uh, for my, for Misunderstood's birthday, actually. Yeah. It was, it was last September. Last September, it was... Probably, probably the best birthday I've ever had. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you so much. The West and East. And the one thing I also loved about Distant Worlds, whenever we uh, we went, um, they actually had uh, two opera singers uh, doing uh, doing this uh, actual scene. They actually sang uh, Draco. Uh, and they, uh, they, he sang as Draco, and the, the, there was another girl. I don't remember her name. Uh, she sang as Maria. Mm -hmm. it and was there was a, a narrator too. Yeah, the narrator did really cool. Did a really good job too. And uh, I, f I forget the conductor's name though, but it was Arnie. I think is what his name was. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I can't remember his, his name right off the top of my head. But yeah, I, we went to go see uh, Distant Worlds, and they were in Dallas. Yes, they played two um, two days, Friday and Saturday. We were there for uh, the Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I would have been there for Friday though, because oh, unfortunately I had to work uh, during that time though. But Saturday just was amazing. They did some of the most beautiful FF6 renditions I've ever heard live, and I've heard. Oh. Rio. Exact lyrics. Absolutely. But yeah, I, I do got I do have to say though, you know, the uh, Eddie de Mezzo was probably one of the best uh, live operas I'd ever seen, uh, ever covered. Mm -hmm. Although I've never really seen an opera live. I mean, I've been to a couple of musicals. Uh, I know I did uh, whenever I was in high school. I did a uh, what was it? Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, hold on. Go right, go right ahead. Go into the dressing room. Is everything okay? And we were pretty much around the same spot. Yeah. What was it? Oh yeah, I did a Guys and Dolls whenever I was in high school. Yeah. When I was in theater arts. Uh, didn't you do a Fiddler on the Roof? I did Fiddler on the Roof. I did a very special Christmas in yeah. sixth grade. I did Fiddler on the Roof in, in the seventh grade. Uh huh. And um, I remember when I was in fourth grade, uh, I did Santa's Coming to Town. Uh, I, audi I auditioned for Aladdin mm -hmm. in eighth grade, and then I moved to um, another middle school, which was probably the worst middle school I've ever been to. I got into a lot of fights, make a long story short. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Is that you? <laughs> Why did you help me escape back there? I once abandoned someone when she needed me. <laughs> I like how Long is still blushing. <laughs> yeah, he's very. Yeah, he's blushing really hard. But yeah, you know, you know, we did theater. You know, we did theater arts. You know, at separate times because you know she and I were uh, uh, misunderstood and I were four years apart. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm four years older than her. I, um, my main class was choir. Yeah, her, hers was choir, mine was theater arts, and I also did, uh, I also played football, too. I played for three and a half years before I tore my ACL. Oh, I remember. Oh, my God. Let's go over these lines real quick. Scene one. Oh, my hero. Far away now. Will I ever see you smile? Love your way and found like a night into the dream. Like a fading dream. I'm in the darkness. You're in the stars. For our love is brighter than the sun. For eternity, for me, there can be only you, my chosen one. Must I forget you, our solemn promise? Will the autumn take place of spring? Now, you have to remember these lines. What shall I do with you? I am lost without you. Speak of me once more. Now, what we're going to do... Hold on. FF6. Opera lines. What we're going to do... We're going to make sure that we know these lines from beginning to end. You just have a moment before scene two starts. The Impresario. Scene two. Nothing ready. Okay, so here's what we need to do. The first verse is, Oh my hero. Verse two, In the darkness. Verse three, Must my. This scene, I gotta tell you right now, was beautifully done. Yes, it was. When I was a kid, I didn't really know, you know, the significance of, you know, how much emotion was put in this, though. But I can tell you right now, as an, you know, as I got older, I understood it, though. Because, like, whenever I played uh, Final Fantasy VI for the first time all over again, I can tell you this right now. When I played it in my teens, it actually, you know, meant something now. Here we go. Gotta follow him here. Come, Maria. Follow my lead. Here we go. Oh, sorry. You actually have to follow his lead. There we go. You gotta keep following him through. Are y'all dancing? Basically. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, what do we got here? Then we gotta go up to this balcony and toss the flowers. Or what is assumed to be Draco. Here we go, here we go, here we go.
Sorry, I had to unmute that for a second. Leave the past behind. Our kingdom is adopted to the spirit of the east. Okay, once this is done... As I take a sip of my coffee... As I said, take a sip of my coffee, too. Then the big dance scene comes. I'll tell you, if if my if I was still in choir and we were able and one of the choir or the theater arts instructor were to was gonna was gonna give the green light for a Final Fantasy play, I would so volunteer. I definitely would too. I I didn't take theater arts until I was in ninth grade. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, my my theater arts teacher, oh my god, he was such a cool guy. Okay, wait, let's read the score real quick. Okay, that's just basically the lyrics again. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotta skip through that. Oh yeah, and by the way, one thing that is uh, that I forgot to mention, if you don't follow uh, him uh, dancing for, uh, for you, it's game over. I owe you one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera. Ultros. Uh oh. Yep. We have a problem. It's like, yeah, we got a problem. Very, 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 very slimy, nasty problem. Yep. Attack! Okay, now with this going on, Ultros is actually getting ready to spoil everything. Not to mention spoil the kidnapping. We've only got five minutes to get this done. Yes. Yes, five minutes. Now, don't get me wrong. I think opera is a beautiful, beautiful piece of art, stage. But I am not a fan of musicals. I can honestly say that. And this may sound wrong though, but I'm not a, a fan of you know live musicals. I respect it greatly though because of how much you know time and effort and choreography puts in it though. But I, I got to tell you right now, the only kind of musicals I like are the animated ones. Yeah, I, I loved the Lion King. Lion King, uh, Aladdin, Aladdin, uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio's got a fucked up story. Yeah, uh -huh. the real story is really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much every uh, Disney uh, animated uh, film that's out there. Uh, comes from a really fucked up store uh, from uh, from the past. Yeah. So be so be careful. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's see oh. if Maria can shrug this off. Ugh, everything I thought. It'll take five minutes to drop it. What are we? What, what is this, carry? You would think so, but minus the sands, the pig's blood. Talk to the man in the room in the far right. He'll help you get up there. It's good as done. All right, five minutes. Here we go. Better, better go, 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 go. Now I'm glad we didn't have this kind of pressure when we went to the symphony. Oh no, shit, right? The yeah, Ambassador asked me to have you press the far right switch. And room to the far left. Make your way through the framework. Alrighty, let us make haste. Now, when you get to the top, there are random battles. Thankfully, you know we've leveled up enough though to be ready. So let's see if the grinding actually paid off. Not to mention we've also got fight uh, Ultros as well too. So yeah, random battles uh, plus Ultros. In one of the Titan, in the Titan Tron, um, in a Distance World uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, the little screen in the outs on the uh, upper side. Yeah, was playing was in the background. The whole video was the uh, was the opera and then the pressure of the five minutes. Yeah. Um, Which I thought was really cool. It you know would have been even better though had somebody came out in a little Ultros costume. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I would have marked out for it. Oh yeah. And there's plenty of that too. You'll find uh, you'll find a lot of these rats actually uh, will respond unless you don't destroy the uh, main rat. Right. Gee, sounds like something in the wrestling business. Oh, rats, yeah. Yeah, get rid of one rat, they just keep coming back. Uh -huh. Here we go. No time to celebrate. Let's see how we can see if we can dodge. Ah! Yeah, timing is everything with this, unfortunately. 
Okay. Definitely want to, you know, destroy the gold rats first. Alrighty. Here we go, here we go. Come on, 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 Oh! What did I did? Fuck. Ah, oh, I can't run away I too. I thought I... God, I thought I saw a beast with the lights and shit. Yeah, I know, right? If you look at the center of the screen, it looks they look, like... Those look like eyes, dude. They really do. Yeah. Love the chainsaw. Thank you, Mountain... Thank you, Zozo. Fuckers. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. That's... I wouldn't mind... Coming to a symphony, a, like a Final Fantasy symphony dressed up as the Final Fantasy VI characters. Ugh. This is really starting to hinder my shit right now. Matter of fact, at the um, at Distant Worlds, we we saw a couple of people dressed up as a few Final Fantasy characters. There was a couple of people uh, uh, dressed up as Shinra soldiers. I saw one dude dressed up as a uh, Squall, and uh, a couple of girls were dressed up. I remember one of them being uh, Garnet and. Uh, Renoa from Final Fantasy VIII. I remember Renoa. There was one guy dressed up as Sephiroth. Yeah. Re a really cool Sephiroth, too. His hair was even real, too. Yeah. All the way down to the back of his thighs, if even. One of the things that you don't want is running into an ex-boyfriend. Oh, yeah. I ran into... Yeah, which... You can talk about awkward, right? Yeah. Come on. The pressure's real. The pressure's real. Shut up. This is real. real. I, I, that that whole event, the the Distance World Final Fantasy Symphony event, it was so nostalgic. It, it was, really was. If if it ever comes through, you know, through your town, go see it. I guarantee you, you will not. And there's never a bad seat whenever you watch it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Ah. Instead of pig blood, you have Edgar. And a, a purple octopus. Yeah, and. You want to talk about a hell of a bump? <laughs> I know, right? God, that would hurt. And I think the crowd's all kinds of confused. Disaster! If the two heroes are flattened and the opera's over, then who will win the girl? Talk about crashing a scene, right? Um... I think they're... just shaking off the cobwebs. <gasps> Come on, improvise. Neither Draco nor Ross will save Celis. I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer, will save her. Ugh, what awful acting. Silence! You're the one in the presence of octopus royalty. A newborn, a lowborn thug like you could never defeat me. Um. Hmm, might as well make the most of this. Music! Huh, long time no see. You've changed. Did you miss me? Oh yeah, and I love this boss music too. This boss music is really is really cool. I think the music in general in this scene just makes it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit him four times. Okay. We need to recover, that's for sure. Log definitely needs it. Yes. You wanna talk about a fuck of a bump. Yeah. And we're gonna chainsaw it up a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, there we go. Oh shit! Ugh, what an unlucky day. Adios. Um. Chop up the octopus, kids. <laughs> we teased the octopus and he lost. <laughs> <laughs> Just a darn minute. Huh? Um. What a performance! Uh oh. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. I like how we spin her and then she's back in her regular clothes. Setzer. <laughs> I'm a man of my word, music man. That's him! What a reversal. 
thinking she's locked new queen Maria is instead nabbed by Setzer. What fate lies in store for her? Stay tuned for part two. Bravo, everybody. Bravo. And that beautiful theme that you hear, that is Setzer's theme. I'll deal with you in a minute. Don't get carried away, asshole. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Celis. Spinning image of Maria. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Let's see. So what's up here? <laughs> oh, Edgar. Here comes like. What a performance. Enough already. But this is oh, part two begins now. Where's Setzer? He's coming. Who, who are you? You're not Maria. Setzer, we need your help. We have to get to Vector. We need the ship to get there. Look, if you're not Maria, I don't want you aboard. Wait. We were told your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's most notorious gambler. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm the King of Figaro. If you cooperate, you will be well rewarded. I am one of Dama's knights. Please help us. Come here. Yeah? Don't misunderstand me. I'm still not sure if I'm up to going to help you. Come on, Gambit. <laughs> yeah, every now and then, like whenever I play this, I name him Gambit. Okay, now what you're looking at, though, is basically going to be your main hub for a little while. Phew, the Empire's made me a rich man. Thinking of yourself, many towns villages have been smashed by the Emperor. The Empire is also totally rotten. It's using magic to enslave the world. The Empire my and my realm were allies until recently. I lost my friends and my family. Yeah, poor... The Empire? Evil? We all hate the Empire for the same reasons, that's why. You know, you're gonna even be more stunning than Maria. Huh? Oh, now she's... Oh... Alright, enough. If you, if Cells becomes my wife, then I'll help. Otherwise... What are you stupid? We haven't any choice. Jealous. Yes. <laughs> it's said, <settled>. oh yeah. <laughs> but I have conditions. <laughs> oh god. Edgar's blushing too, I didn't realize that. With the coin toss. Coin tossing. Eh? It's heads, you'll help her. If you'll help us, if it's tails, I'll go with you, well, Mr. Gambler? Yeah, <laughs> fine, I accept. Listen to yourself. You can't just become. Sellers, you just can't become his wife. <laughs> oh, I sense a little jealousy. <sighs> that man uses people. Call in the air. I win! Now honor your part of the bargain. <sighs> Coin with identical signs. Nope. I think you've been hustled. <laughs> the hustler got hustled. Yeah, how low can you get? I love it. Alright, I'll help you. Nothing to lose but my life. I almost thought I almost meant that misread that as my wife. My life's a chip in your pile. Andy up.
This unwieldy looking ship really moves. Could it crash? Really? Hmm. When things fall, they fall. It's all a matter of fate. And skill, too. The ship's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Better land some distance away. Right. I'll wait on board in case of an emergency. Well. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Love that mode 7, don't you? Yes. Don't get carried away, asshole. That'd be a great pixelated portrait, wouldn't you think? I actually, wait till it gets closer. Oh. Yes, indeed. Yep. Looks like the capital, too, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Well, in the next episode, we're going to pick right up. Because coming up in the next episode, Vector. Much love. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace! Yeah, yeah, chill out.